Honor Club, where honor is real. Honor Nation, it's the Beer City Bruiser. And with me always, Brian Malonis. And you know what time of the week it is? It's happy hour with the bouncer. Brian, what's up, man? How you doing? You know, it's really probably happy hour with us, like, I don't know. 12, 13 hours out of every day. So, I mean, well, yeah, you got to factor in at least two hours of sleep somewhere in there. But then know? there's the time difference between us. So, that's going to factor for something, right? Carry the no. one, like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know math, man. <laughs> you're, you're confusing me. I have no idea what you're talking about. All I know is it's happy hour with the bouncers. And yeah, I've been drinking beer and I got to guess that you have no idea who it is. And I'm excited. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, you always try to get me to guess. and just like, I have no clue. So I think you should just bring him on. Just bring him on? Just bring All him right. on. Well, then I will, I will bring him on. Here, here he is. This is the man. He is probably one of the longest reigning guys on the roster. He's been there for a while. He's a former tag team champion, former television champion. He's the K-I-N-G king oh, of Ring of Honor. He is Kenny King. Kenny, what's up, man? How are you doing today? Welcome to Happy Hour with the Bouncer. I say, you know what, uh, Bruiser, that wasn't half bad. You know, you might be looking for Bobby Cruz's job. <laughs> oh, 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 wow. Well, Brian wow. and I, are, we've been trying to get this interview thing down since this whole quarantine thing started. So I, I've had time to work on it, you know. Okay. I don't know if Bruiser's chest is hairy enough to take Bobby Cruz's job, though. <laughs> I, I listen. I'll I'll pay to see it if he promises to wear Bobby's exact same suits. <laughs> Fat guy in a little coat. <laughs> I can definitely do that. So so, how is the king doing during these uh, quarantine times? You keep him busy out there or what? Yeah, man. I'm trying to stay away from the infected. You know, it's like the uh, it's like the Walking Dead out there. You know, you got all these people in masks and zombies walking around and and. And uh, so I'm trying to stay steer clear, uh, you know, getting some some good some gaming time in with my son, and you know, just uh, just chilling. That's what's, about it. What's the game? Uh, what's the game of choice you guys are playing? Uh, right now he's playing GTA, but I just finished The Last of Us too. So uh, and I'm oh, fantastic yeah. game. It was a really good game. Yeah. Yeah. I, I only play sports games. You much of a sports game guy, Kenny? Well, bless you. Thank you, thank you. I was I was allergic to whatever that was, uh, you know, whatever you got going on behind you, Malonis, because it looks like the G1 supercar, but it doesn't yeah. look like Kenny King winning the honor roll. It is. Um, oh, that's it's, great. It's not. I don't know if that quite is, but Kenny, you did win the honor rumble, didn't you? In I'm, MSG, I most certainly did. Kenny Shawn Michaels King started at number one, and then beat. 30 other guys. I think you two were part of those 30 other guys. Yeah, yeah, we were. There, we were. there is a picture of me standing on you at one point, though. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I remember that. I, didn't, I, don't, I don't think I saw that picture. <laughs> that had to feel good, huh? I mean, MSG, biggest show of the year, sold out crowd, and, and you're in there with, well, you were in there with Muda, weren't you? Didn't you eliminate Muda? Yeah, well, I, I eliminated Jushin Thunder Liger and the not so great Muda. <laughs> you know, such poor sports about being outclassed by the, the Rumble Master. Uh, you know, you everybody saw what happened next. Not so great mood to spit that nonsense into my eyes. I was blind. You know, it was just, it was, I had to get this emergency vasodilation, reticulation surgery. It was just, you know, it was a lot. Yeah, well, so I, might need, I might need to amend my story. So, Kenny, I, I've said repeatedly that, uh, that one day I'm going to tell my grandchildren how I made of, or I, how I sold out Madison Square Garden with Jushin Thunder Liger, but now maybe I need to tell them how I sold out Madison Square Garden with Jushin Thunder Liger and Kenny King. I think that's the new story. I mean, if you want them to know who you're talking about, you might as well mention me. <laughs> <laughs> but if I, if I remember correctly, because you were blind, that's how Amy Rose got put with you. And then Amy Rose kind of negotiated a deal for you to join this uh, new faction you're part of there. The uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, Brian. I don't, I don't know how to LFI. say it. LFI. It's LFI. LFI. I know it's LFI. Yeah. Right? Isn't that how that all came about? Well, actually, uh, Amy Rose being, uh, you know, as, as a, a smart kind individual saw that I was blinded, saw me walking around him just like you guys did, saw me walking around with a cane, bumping around some stuff backstage, and instead of making fun of me and, you know, pouring beer in my stuff like I think was one of you guys that did, uh, you know, Amy, she 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 really looked out. She really said, okay, you know, I'm gonna, going to uh, 
to to make sure that no that, that Kenny King doesn't uh, you know nobody takes advantage of this guy and nobody does anything crazy and it was during those you know during those times and during those talks that we the idea for uh, for partnership uh, and that which kind of started as a rough idea it was blossomed into La Faccion Ingobernable uh, that's how that was born you say that much better than either of us would have sounded even attempting it so uh, but speaking of LFI you got Dragon Lee, the world television champion. You got Roosh, the world champion. Kenny, I can't help but notice you're the only guy sitting there without any gold. What plans do you have going forward? No, I didn't freeze. I'm just oh. looking at you like like you're crazy, bro. You know, see, maybe maybe in, in in the bouncers, you know, you guys think about championships and 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 you know singles championships, and you, and you guys think about that. But in La Faction and Grenoble, we're a collective, right? So so Roosh being the world champion and Dragon Lee being the uh, the the television champion, it doesn't take away from my accomplishments. It all just makes us that much more. Uh, it makes us that stronger as a group, you know. And I don't even know like what. You know, I don't even know why you, you, you're you bringing this up. You're trying to be slick, Brian Malone. It's like, don't think that I forgot about you. Don't think I forgot that the only reason this thing happened is because you and this other idiot down here joined forces against me, okay? Don't, you, don't, don't think I remember you guys jumping me with that other idiot, Silas Young, okay? And that's the only reason you guys are even cool Wait, to try you, to get, to, was trying to knock me off of my pedestal. We jumped you? Oh, I don't you, remember that. Oh, you don't, that doesn't, oh, that doesn't sound like you us. don't remember. Oh, you don't remember, Bruiser. That you don't remember sound. hiding under the ring at Supercard of Honor and zip tying my legs and costing me the Ring of Honor World Television Championship. Probably the only reason I don't have it right now. You want to ask me questions about why I don't have a belt and you are the I, reason why I don't have the Ring of Kenny, Honor. Kenny, I think I think we're um, I, I think we're having some troubles me. with the uh, no, 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 the uh, internet. So like I'm gonna try and fix this, Kenny. Hey, I'm gonna try and fix it. Here we go, Brian. That uh. He had a bad go connection well. there. I, I think he, he didn't understand that. I think we were just joking around back then, you know, like. Uh, I guess, yeah. I mean, that doesn't sound like us. We like to drink beer, have fun. Toast of know. honor with everybody afterwards. In fact, we toasted yeah. with everybody. I, you know, here's the thing. I hope Kimmy can get some better internet so it doesn't cut out next time. Like, yeah. you know, hey, buddy, we tried. We did. We did, we did, we tried. So, fans, tune in next week for uh, Happy Hour with the Bounces. I'm the Beer City Bruiser. Brian Malonis, of course. Kenny King was with us. Um, see you next week. Cheers. Cheers.